Welcome to the Mixed Fight Championship ring, representing Suriname, Ismail on. Representing England, welcome James McSweeney. Come on, man. James McSweeney continues his path of destruction here in MFC. First, he knocked out Daniel Ilunga, and then he became the first man to end the undefeated streak of Marat Aigun. Can he defeat Ismail Lant to become the MFC Heavyweight Champion? The following bout is scheduled for three rounds and represents the championship final of the K-1 Rules Mixed Fight Championship Heavyweight Tournament. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 194 centimeters and weighed in for the tournament at 119 kilograms. After a round one knockout in the semifinal round, his record now stands at 41 victories, opposite six defeats with 27 wins via knockout. Representing Suriname, Ismail, Mr. Payne Lott. His opponent fights on of the red corner. He stands 193 centimeters. His official weight, 115 kilograms. With tonight's semifinal TKO, his record now stands at 19 victories. I was at 14 defeats with 14 wins via knockout. Representing England, James the Sledgehammer McSweeney. Your referee, Tobias Gerald. Two massive, powerful heavyweights in the Mixed Fight Championship ring right now. And the heavyweight title is at stake. Mr. Payne, Ismail Lant, the sledgehammer, James McSweeney for the gold. Lant doesn't seem to care about the tape on his gloves at all. This kid seems to be mentally on another planet right now. He is completely focused on this fight. And for whatever reason, they removed the tape around his glove. And they're going to reapply it now. 
see Mike Polanin in his corner. Ismail Lant has been training with ARJ in Holland, and it looks like they've got the gloves taped up, and we are ready for heavyweight championship action here in the finals of the MFC tournament. Gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch left if you like, and back to the corners. Touch of gloves, and here we go. Two of the baddest men on the planet in the world of professional kickboxing. Lon, swinging like he means it. McSweeney, giving it right back. McSweeney lands upstairs with the kick. Lon comes back. Oh, high. Powerful blows as they brawl into the corner. McSweeney with a back fist now, trying to drop the sledgehammer on Lon. Ooh, strikes downstairs very quickly into the breadbasket of Mr. Payne. McSweeney and Launt very similar on paper as far as size is concerned. McSweeney a centimeter shorter. Just four centimeters lighter. But that was before lunch. A left hand from Launt drops McSweeney in round one. But that's not it yet. Launt comes trotting back into the ring. McSweeney holds on to the leg. Push kick lands by the sledgehammer. Remember, McSweeney, who he's cut now. McSweeney is cut, you can see the blood pouring out of his head onto his chest. Lott misses with that lunging shot. It's that same cut that happened in the first fight has been reopened now under the left eye of McSweeney. Now that shot may have strayed low and McSweeney apologizes for it. Goes upstairs to the head kick again. I think that McSweeney feels that's his best weapon is the head kick. What's going on here now? McSweeney, I think they're gonna get that cut attended to. You can see the left eye of McSweeney starting to swell shut. I don't think it's gonna close up, but it looks pretty gruesome at this point. But you can see McSweeney wincing when the doctor applying some pressure to that cut. That is a gaping wound and it could be a fight-stopping cut under the eye of McSweeney. I can hear promoter Sefer Gatepe saying, hey, let him fight, but that's it. They've called it off. But McSweeney gracious in defeat. In fact, the same thing that happened to McSweeney in the semifinals with to, to his opponent actually now happens to him in the finals well that's a tournament for you ladies and gentlemen McSweeney came in the worst for wear after his semi-final fight Whereas Ismail Lott barely even broke a sweat in his. And McSweeney came in with a few pre-existing injuries. Ended up getting dropped in round one. Certainly was still able to continue the fight. But the cut was just too much. Yeah, that, that cut is nasty.
World-class ring announcer Mike Markham is in the ring to give us the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a doctor's stoppage. The winner by technical knockout and now Mitch Fight Championship Heavyweight Tournament Champion, Ismail Mr. Payne Live. Tournament, Ismail, the pain launch. Ismail, people who follow the sport of K1 rules kickboxing certainly are familiar with you. You've put together an extremely impressive international career, and now you are the Mixed Fight Championship heavyweight title holder. Your thoughts? First of all, I want to thank Saver to give me the opportunity to fight, to give me a new chance after two years. I want to thank my trainers, Mike Jama. I want to thank my corner boy, on the sign, I want to thank everybody who support me, everybody who didn't support me, to give me motivation to, to work hard. Um, I feel sorry for uh, James McSweeney that the doctor stopped, but I'm not done too dead. And I was hoping to let you see some 10 seconds more, but the doctor said stop. So thank you all for the support. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope soon I can show you more. Us.